Hi guys, Dr. Anna Kabeki here. First of all, I want to thank you for being part of my community. And this is a message specifically for you guys because I was at the gas station the other day and one of my clients came up to me. He was like, Dr. Anna, I'm on your email list. You know, and you got to give us some guys, some specific emails because we're here too. It's not all about women. It's not all about hormones. Don't forget us guys. And he goes, we don't want to be growing old and get those man boobs and the big guts and, you know, muscle weakness. And he was really kind of starting to feel those things. And first of all, I was like, I had to correct him. I'm like, they're not man boobs. We call them moobs for short. And no, we don't want you to have them either. But that's often what happens when testosterone converts to estrogen. And it's important to, you know, nip that in the butt pretty darn quickly. So let's talk about what's going on here and what we need to do to improve it. So first thing I always talk about is testing, not guessing, right? So that's important. There are dietary changes and nutrition changes and certainly exercise, those foundational changes that are key that we all need to make as we grow older, especially because indigestion, fatigue, we can't work out as stronger, we can't, we don't have the sex drive we used to have, we're not interested in the things that we used to be interested in, we're just feeling more achy and less ambitious and we certainly don't want that, but those are very often symptoms of changing hormones, right? DHEA starts to decline in guys, testosterone starts to decline in guys, just like it does in women. So what we need to look at first are make some basic shifts, right? The key foundational information. My saying is no white, no wheat, no sweet, and very little red meat. Now I know it's hunting season, but free range, grass fed, all that is good. Y'all enjoy that, okay? But really avoiding sugar, any added sugar is an absolute no-no. So make your own barbecue sauce without sugar, okay? And that means avoiding artificial sweetener. It's really important. And then um, no white, no grains, avoiding grains altogether. We're really design grains for times of starvation and famine. Y'all, we do not have that, thankfully, in our time of day, and definitely not here in Southeast Georgia. We've got pretty good abundance of food. So um, so that's, a, that's the first saying that I have. No white, no wheat, no sweet, very little red meat. The second is, if you can pick it, peel it, fish it, hunt it, milk it, grow it, then for the most part, you can eat it. So that means it typically doesn't come in a package or a box and avoid those things altogether. So those are two really important points. And you've been following my blog, so you've been reading about getting keto alkaline, keto green. It's a concept I've created because for women, it's true for you guys too, but you know how hard it is for us to lose weight. You do my keto alkaline program and you guys are dropping the scale, you're energetic, you're doing so much better, faster, that us, we are designed as women for the famine, for starvation, me, myself, designed to live in the Sahara probably for an eternity and I will survive. So guys, you were designed for this keto alkaline state as well as hunters, gatherers, warriors. So as the hunters and the, you know, you are designed for that rapid movement. You are designed to eat off the, the fat and to have healthy amounts of you know, healthy fats and protein. So a ketogenic diet works really well for you, but you need to be alkaline at the same time or you'll build inflammation. So keto alkaline, that's important. My urine test strips on my wellness store, you can check your urine, get your pH alkaline and get your, and bump into the state of ketosis. It's not easy. I, I understand that. And it's not something you have to do seven days a week, you know, four weeks a month, whatever, 52 weeks a year. So, you, but do it periodically, get into this ketogenic state. It really does improve all the diseases of aging, diabetes, Alzheimer's, dementia, cardiovascular disease, arthritic complaints, immune diseases, and the list goes on. So I want you guys to be healthy. And also as you go through it, you support us as women going through it too. I'm asking all my female clients to really make these changes as well. And it really helps us when we have that supportive community. And you guys, you know, the heads are leaders for us and we really want you to 
uh, embrace this philosophy with us because we know you can eat a lot more calories than us and get away with a lot more and it's just not fair. But that aside, I'm not whining. That aside, I also want you to continue testing and guessing, testing, not guessing. So what gets measured gets managed. I wanna to talk to you about important blood tests I'd like you to take. And you can look at my elite panels that I recommend. That's at ultalabtests.com forward slash Dr. Anna Kabeca. And then you'll see the three panels that I recommend that will look at your hormones comprehensively. We'll look at your lipid panels, break it down into particular size like you've never seen before, very similar to the Berkeley Heart Lab panels, and also look at your hormones, your thyroid, your antibodies, and inflammatory markers and blood sugar markers as well, including growth hormones. So those aren't standard lab tests that we typically order. Sometimes, the, the, some of them are standard lab tests, but these other, this comprehensive panel, are really that higher level panel that's looking to go deeper into what are the underlying issues that are going on? What do we need to track? So what gets measured gets managed. And I know you guys are can be really competitive too, so you wanna get better numbers all the time. It's important to know where you're at now, no matter where you're at. So I'm gonna, um, that's ultalabtest.com forward slash Dr. Anna Kabeca. And those are the list of labs that I recommend in general to really get a comprehensive look. But start with getting keto alkaline, right? Checking your pH. Other things that can really help is arginine to improving nitric oxide. And then also, you know, uh, again, getting um, alkaline and, and using adrenal adaptogens. Mighty Maca Greens is a big part of my recommendations because it does that. And it helps clear your body, helps with detoxification. But these simple rules that I've kind of outlined here are just uh, foundational. And, and really key steps to kind of level, you know, get a really solid foundation so that you can continue to do well as, as we age, as we're faced with society's ups and downs, our ups and downs within our own households, etc. building resilience. And that enables us to handle what comes our way unexpectedly and unexpectedly. So I encourage you to continue, stay, um, you know, strong with all these hormone emails and menopause emails. There's good messages in there for you guys. That's what I always tell my male patients. I know you're ready to make some changes when you've come to a gynecologist, right? So hang with me. Encourage the women in your life also to make these changes with you as well. And I look forward to continuing our relationship. This is Dr. Anna Kabeca.